a musical in which a modern day Romeo and Juliet are involved in New York street gangs on the harsh streets of the Upper West Side. Two gangs battle for control of the turf. The situation becomes complicated when a gang member falls in love with a rival sister. This is West Side Story on Night at the Movies. Tonight, tonight, the world is full of light. This is my first time in New York City. I want to be happy here. I want to make a life at home. Tonight, tonight. Are you ready? Tonight is about family. The first gringo boy who smiles at you. I never seen you before. I'm not Puerto Rican. Is that okay? Do you want to start World War III? You know, I wake up to everything I know either getting sold or wrecked or being taken over by people that I don't like. You keep away from him as long as you're in my house. I'm a grown-up now, Bernardo. I'm going to think for myself. Tony, we need you if we're going to war. Who are you? Friend or foe? If you go with him, no one will ever forgive you. Life matters even more than love. Before we start, I should mention that this is the updated, the 2021 version of West Side Story, uh, directed by Mr. E.T. himself, Steven Spielberg. Um, I, I, I'm going to be very quick on my recommendation on this movie and very uh, just not, uh, uh, not beat around the bush. I have two words to Steven Spielberg. Bye, man. Why? Why did we do this movie? The first one was much better. The, the original one was much better. Just because you think you can do a better job doesn't mean that you can. And this has proven to me, you are losing grasp on reality of what people like on TV and movies. Michael, what do you think? I, <laughs> I liked it. I I felt that Ariana DeBose was brilliant. She was so good as Anita. And I really liked Rachel Zegler as Maria. I I think I think Ariana's winning the Oscar for the supporting actress. Um, I will very firmly say that Ansel Elgort was terrible. He couldn't sing the part. He couldn't really act the part. And they could have walked down Times Square, plucked any white boy with brown hair that was a tenor off the street that could do it better than Ansel Elgort. Um, he couldn't sing it. They had to lower a lot of the notes for him. They had to change the keys for him. I'm very familiar with West Side Story. So I, I was very disappointed with that. I also felt, I loved the costumes. I, I liked the choreography. I thought that, I, I will say though, a lot of it was a very much a direct rip off of uh, the original. It was not even like, he even did the, a filter to make it look like it was shot in the fifties. I did find putting anybody as a trans man while cool to see and most likely the case 
felt very um, forced, tokenizing and forced. Because at that time, that wouldn't be the language used and it wouldn't be the case. Like, it, it just, it felt very much like, why was this necessary to remake? Um, I will say, well, I watched this with my husband. He said there was nothing redeemable about this, but I will also counter that with West Side Story. It's his least favorite musical ever. And this is because he saw a production of West Side Story when he was a kid where the guy playing Tony at the end, when spoiler alert, he dies, it's Romeo and Juliet. Uh, the dude walked on stage to die, walked off the lip of the stage, fell into the orchestra pit, knocked himself out. So Maria jumped down, grabbed him from the orchestra pit, dragged him on stage. Chino came out, didn't know what to do, shot Maria. And they walked off stage and that's how it ended the production he saw. So my husband thought that's how it ended forever and was like, that's brilliant, this is amazing. And then now that, that he's seen it without that ending, having, uh, being much older than he was in high school, it, he's like, it's stupid. It doesn't end how it should. And it, the songs are too long and it's too contrite. and. And it was two hours and 40 minutes of a movie nobody asked for a remake of. Well, I think that's what it was, right? I think that's where my issue was. I, I didn't see a lot of people hammering the doors down in 2019 when this was originally pitched to say, West Side Story needs a reboot. It needs to be remade. And the only person who could make it is Steven Spielberg. It's like if we said... Wizard of Oz needs to be remade. It needs to be rebooted. And the only person who can do it is Lin-Manuel Miranda. We don't do things to good movies of the past. There are certain movies that you just do not reshoot, reboot. West Side Story is one of them. It was great the way it was. I watched this and I, I said, I have newfound disrespect for Steven Spielberg, for even thinking that this was a smart idea. And the fact that the Oscars thought it was great to give him a nomination. Now, I know this is coming up the Friday before the, the award ceremony, the, like Friday and Sunday's the award ceremonies. But I'm just going to say this. If he wins any, wins any awards for this movie, I'm never watching the Oscars ever again. What, it's nominated for what? Costumes? I don't think it's winning costumes. Best picture. Best picture. It's not best winning director. best picture. It's not winning best director. You never know. They love Steven I, Spielberg. I think that it got nominated for as many things as it did out of respect to Steven Spielberg. I don't think it would have gotten as much traction if it wasn't Steven Spielberg. I feel like it's like the Meryl Streep syndrome, the Tom Hanks syndrome. They do a movie. The Denzel There's Washington. a very good chance they get nominated. Denzel Washington, they do a movie. It might get no nominations, but they'll get nominated for acting from it. I am a little shocked Tom Hanks did not get nominated for the movie he did this year, which means that movie must've been God awful that he didn't even get a nomination. Uh, best sound, best production design. It's not winning sound. It has the shot maybe at production design. And I think that's best it, costume. which I do agree that it's not winning that. And that's it. I think production design, it has a shot at winning, but I think Dune is going to sweep a lot of those categories. Sound yeah. is going to do, period. Or No Time to Die, one or the other. No, it's going to do. So <laughs> I, I, I will be the first, uh, I'll start with you. Star rating time. What would you give out of five? I, you won't let me do half stars. So I'm going to do a three and round it up. I, I, I like aspects of it. I like Marita Moreno in it. I liked mostly the women in it. I just, I, I just keep asking myself, why was this made? Like if I could do an exact half split on this, I would, but I can't. So I'll round it to a three. I'm going to give it a one. And that's, gonna, right. that's going to be very generous for me. Adriana, is that how you pronounce your name? Ariana. Ariana, sorry. Ariana DeBose. As much as I don't want her to win the best uh, supporting okay. actor, she'll win. And we talk about Spencer, we talk about The Lost Daughter being one of the reasons why movies do so well. She is why the movie did kind of good. Yeah. As much as we might say it was a weird movie, 
when she was on the screen, I paid attention because I was like, okay, I, I, I believe what she's trying to sell me. Every other actor and actress, I was like, they're getting paid to do this. Where uh, Ariana, I was like, yep, you're an actual turf war woman who is ready to like shank somebody. <laughs> We didn't watch it without subtitles too when we watched it in my house. And like, it was brilliant to like not focus even on like reading the, the Spanish parts because you could, uh, we're both very familiar with West Side Story. So you get a gist of what they're saying. You don't need subtitles when you're very familiar with the show. I was in the show uh, in an all white production in the show. Were you Tony? Were you Tony? No, I was Baby John. Okay. It was a cute one. I was little. I was I was young when I did that show, um, but it was. I mean, it's 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 a show I know. So watching it in the the native tongue, I wish they had gone further with that. I really did. I wish they had done Spanish America and and done the Spanish for I feel pretty because these are songs people know. You can do it in Spanish. People are still going to know what the song is. And Once it would you just hear add the that melody, you're like, element. Well, not even that, because the Broadway cat, uh, the Broadway revival that happened, whenever there wasn't um, the white, the white cast on stage, they were only speaking Spanish, and it, and people went and it did very well, and it was because it was something new, it was something different, it was more true to the actual like what it should be. I. As I was thinking America, I was thinking of a, a certain TV show. I thought to myself, wow, Glee did that song better than Steven Spielberg. Problematic. <laughs> I've been canceled. It was nice knowing you, everyone. So that was West Side Story, a night at the movies on the cross-border interviews with Chris Brown and Michael Nichols-Pate.